Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of the Cartridge and Disc Podcast. This is your Janus Gamer here. And let's talk about the Intellivision Amico. That's right, hitting you right in the veins with another booster shot. A booster shot of Intellivision Amico news. <laughs> and Breakout by Choice Provisions is dead. It's dead. Oh, guys, you know, a lot of the Amico supporters remind me of just a couple of them, right? A few of them. I can think of a, of a few. Remind me of the Black Knight from Monty Python, right? Where where they kept getting hit and losing limbs and <laughs> and they're bleeding out <laughs> and they're like, it's near, merely a scratch. There's nothing wrong here. We're moving forward. <laughs> you can be enthusiastic about a lot of things, guys. Look, I find myself in the position of being for the wood grain right? For the console, for the concept, but against all the people the, running the company right now. Absolutely. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, John Alvarado has been proven a failure. Phil Adam, uh, we can't trust him. He's like, you know, uh, <laughs> he's like the Joe Biden of in, of in television, doesn't know where he's at, doesn't know what day it is, doesn't know what days mean, the, what the calendar's for. He doesn't know any of that stuff. He doesn't have any specifics on anything. <laughs> and then you got the the uh, the board that wants every single cent out of every property from this console. And, uh, you know, you have Tom, Tommy in the background, their biggest asset, not doing anything. Right. They've kicked him out. They kicked him to the curb. Well, let's talk about it here. Well. Uh, choice provisions, they're known for the uh, BitTrip series, right? Now they confirm that the project is dead, right? So um, Mr. Mike here, and I'll put a link not only to this article here, to the television underscore Amico, but I'll put a link to um, what's the, the sample game that still still exists. It's been archived, so in case you guys want to play it. Anyway, here's a question. Oh, yeah, speaking of Amico, what's going on with Breakout, the games you guys were doing? I know the Amico is sort of limbo now, but I was curious if anything else has come out about it. And Mr. Mike answers, yeah, that's a thing. I know one thing. I don't think that game will ever see the light of day. It was a weird project. He emphasizes the E in weird for that long. And when I say weird, oh, we, we know what you mean, Mike. We know what you mean. Well, you know, if you bother Garrett, maybe he could get a version on Steam. We could share it with only the coolest fans. Well, we're all fans. Guys, everybody was really excited about this game. Everybody that's an Intellivision fan from back in the day. It looked interesting, right? It looked interesting. Uh, I like the music. I like the aesthetics of it. It's what we were thinking a lot when we were thinking about retro reimagined. This is, of course, uh, um, even before a lot of the Atari's game games came out. So everybody was excited, you know, to to play these pick up and, and and play games in their new aesthetic form, right? It, I mean, this kind of game you can even play on on mobile, really, you know. But but it's it's sad and stuff needs to make sense. Stuff needs to make sense. I mean, if you're I mean, I don't know how you can support what Phil Adam and, you know, everybody else in company are doing right now and see this stuff going on the side. How are you selling? You're actually selling your biggest properties. You would think that you have enough money to fund these other projects. The proof of concept for this game was already there. Why isn't that money being spent? Ask yourself that question on this. The console supposedly was already done, which nobody believes that. Nobody, nobody in their right mind believes that John Alvarado can make that console. Nobody. He's had enough time. He failed to make it. Whatever the reason is, it doesn't matter. He's the head of that project. He failed. Done. And now the project's set aside. It's not even a priority for the company. All right? So cannot we at least we get the games? How can you not pay this game right here? I mean, it's a problem with the when the pillars of what support this supposed, you know, uh, platform Amico Home was being built on 
are thrown by the wayside. We have the same thing with Cloudy Mountain. Now you have the same thing with this. None of, none of these things are really ever off the ground, which means scam. Means scam. This is what the investors were looking at. Right? This right here is evidence, right? <laughs> this gentleman right here doesn't know it, but if somebody was going to sue, not legal advice, if somebody was going to sue this company for X, Y, or Z, right? Whatever company took the money and, you know, whoever that is, uh, you know, whoever didn't do their due diligence should have, you know, should have contacted these companies. Hey, are you guys getting paid? Did you get paid for this game already that's being shown? Or is this just, you know, five minutes or whatever? Is this just a sample? Did you get your money already? When is it coming out? I don't think anybody ever did that. <laughs> We know that for sure. We know that for sure, right? And if these people, any of them, right, who talk about loving the Intellivision brand, these people who have ruined it, ruined it, every single person that was involved with this project has ruined the Intellivision brand, every single one of them. If they were serious about it, they would sell the property to somebody who would do it justice. And started trying to milking, milk it, milk it, milk it until it goes bankrupt. And whoever's going to get it is going to get it 10 cents on the dollar. And who knows who's going to get it? Right? Because it, it seems to me they're just sucking out the money as much as they can. They're going to put something out. Right? And our early access, that's when they're, where they might brush themselves away from the $100. I can tell you it's not going to be that easy here in California. And in other states, I have more stringent consumer protection laws, right? Um, but, you know, at this point, I don't believe anything. I don't know how anybody can believe these guys about anything. I mean, stuff needs to make sense. When two and two no longer equal four, you have to question. I don't care how enthusiastic you are. I love the wood grain. I love the concept. Like I said, I'm for the console against the people running the company, right? And this, at this point, right, with the, with the, thing, with the things these developers are saying, if you weren't convinced it's, it was a scam before, you sure are getting convinced right now. <laughs> and testimonies are gonna be interesting. These guys better do something, and I mean, they need to hit a home run. And here pretty soon, and I don't think they're capable of doing it. When's the last time any of the people in this company have hit a home run? Any, name one, name one, zero, right? So let's see what happens. I'm sorry to see breakout. I'm very, very disappointed in this company for letting this one go. This they could have made money on. I mean, how many breakout clones are there? And this... It's a good one. I mean, you could have made money with this game. You could have sold different levels. You could have sold 10 levels at 99 cents or whatever, five bucks, and then added levels uh, later on for, you know, more money. I mean, it's stuff you could do, but in this company, there's no imagination. They're super uh, reactive. They're not proactive at all. They only do things when they get embarrassed or called out or, or stuff like this comes out. So I'm sure, you know, they're going to make some sort of announcement in the next, you know, whatever, two weeks to uh, focus on something else and not focus on this because there's no excuse for this. Alvarado, Phil Adam, nobody has an excuse for this. This game should have been funded. Period. Period. It needs to make sense. Nobody defending this company can defend this. Oh, Tommy, we miss you. Tommy, come back. He's the only asset in that company. If, it, if anybody ever buys a company back again, let me tell you. What they need to do is have the condition that Tommy has to be part of it. Of course, he's not going to be involved in the running of the business. But the PR person, we need that entertainment back. <laughs> All right, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.